Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios. I am your stock mentor, Brian Johnson. And another sideways day in the market. Started off Monday going nowhere. Um, what we do see, though, if we look at the 60-minute chart of the Dow, is this little blue line slicing down and through here, seeing what we've seen on some of the other indices, more notably the SPX, and that is we broke the blue line. We held the 200 period moving average here, and now we're back down to test the blue line. This was already done on the SPX, now it's being done on the Dow. You can see how the Dow tends to be a little bit more of a laggard when it comes to the markets and their movement. So what does this mean? Nothing more than what we were talking about this weekend. Simply wait for a, a, a break above some of these levels. If you're looking to take intraday um, positions, I'd say maybe look below this 10,050 area and or back above the 200 period moving average here for the more uh, aggressive more conservative you still want to wait till it gets up and over here because of the daily uh, where we're watching the 200 kind of move its way actually still up ever so slightly across the chart here we are holding the 20 day moving average again not good for the bulls to see it turned away once again from a hit of that so uh, your targets, you know, above here are certainly the 200-day moving average if you get more aggressive and get in somewhere above the 10-200 area, which isn't a bad place to enter. That would get us back above the 20-day moving average. Just want to be careful with the trade in case we get some more of these wicks where it moves up and then gets pulled right back down again. Here are your uh, bigger overhead levels, the moving averages themselves, coming in at 10-360 and 10-300 basically above you below you you can see there really isn't much for support right below us uh, a break of that 10,050 area I think you know starts to move us downwards and potentially right back into this lower support area and or this blue line eventually as the markets uh, would then I think become a little bit more bearish at that point NASDAQ 60 minute here it is break hold move down it's just a carbon copy of what we have been seeing still looking for breaks below 1830 and breaks above this 1860 ish area for your more uh, aggressive entries otherwise not i don't know sitting at 1837 is the 200 1836 is where we finish so call it on the 200 yes it is below the 200 but just barely um still not obviously um out of reach for the bulls when you're only a point away uh so we have been dropping down 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 starting to get wicks on the bottom end of this thing sometimes that can mean sometimes that can mean bullish activity don't get sucked into this take the candles for what they are and that is just a bigger overall view of things it's really still looking for pushes back above the 1860 area on the nasdaq because that gets you back above not only the 200 but also the 20 at the same time then maybe you've got something to work on to the upside downside is down below these lines here once again be very cautious with the nasdaq it tends to be very quick to move to the upside and a little bit slower to turn around and move to the downside as we've seen kind of on the daily charts it's a little bit more obvious that it's holding up better than some of the other indices from a weekly standpoint resting right here on this major support line right across here SPX on a 60 minute doing the same thing. This is all choppy, choppy sideways action back below the 20 period moving average. Anything back in this area once again starts to give you potentially a shorting opportunity. Really looking for moves back above this area here to get more serious about going long. From a daily, you can see it's resting down here. This is one, two days to the side. What does that mean? Well, we've seen this before towards the uh towards the top of moves right it moves up and then it moves sideways what is that that's a high base so this would be a low base that's right so potentially a low base formation starting here won't be broken until we really get back up and above that 20 day moving average so you can see how that is playing major roles in where the market may or may not go in the future it breaks to the downside take us back to the blue line and or this lower support line before we hit any real strong support.
From a weekly, just got started. Notice we are below the 50-week moving average, but it's only Monday. And VIX on a daily, also going nowhere. It was up slightly while the markets were down slightly, so the VIX is confirming what we did see in the markets today. However, you can see from a weekly standpoint, we've really we went nowhere. Little tiny, little fly doji pattern. I'm gonna invent that. It's called the Johnson fly doji. How about that? I wonder if I can invent that. I wonder if Neeson will let me put that in his book. The fly doji. Uh, anyway, you can see it looks like a little tiny fly on your on your chart. Um, it did confirm what we did see today. Up very slightly, but still no move in the fear. Uh, it was just a really slow kind of consolidation day all around. Uh, even the volume, you know, was just blah all day long. No, uh, no real strength one direction or the other. Apple on a 60 minute also continuing to stay in this channel but look barely. Notice how we popped out of it at the end of the day only to come right back into it at the uh, uh, at the end of the day. I dang near took a trade on this today, really honestly, okay? I just about went long Apple for a trade there. And it didn't get above my my little area here. That's what I was looking for for a trade. So I did not end up taking it. But uh, above that little 270 area, more conservative should wait till it gets above the 271 area. I think could make for a pretty decent long trade back into Apple again, especially if these markets decide to turn around and move up coming into the end of the month. Here's the move up, and this can only be considered right now a pullback for the time being. There's no real major selling going on here. In the fa uh, in the course of about a week, we've only moved about 13, 12, 11, 11 dollars. Jeez, wow, I'm a math whiz, huh? About 11 bucks from the very tip top here down to where we closed today. So not a lot of movement. Uh, back down into the 265 area has been our low, and that's about uh, 14 bucks or so. But no real major movement over the last week in Apple. From a weekly standpoint, still trying to hold big blue. It is only Monday. However, notice we are once again below the blue line. Let's see if it recovers to once again get itself back above it by the end of the week. FAS on a 60 minute also kind of bleeding itself downwards. 2.63%, which is only a 60 cent move in the FAS. Uh, you can see it's slowly bleeding out most of the day. Not really much to trade. Certainly not something to trade from a swing trader standpoint. But you can see it holding below the 20 day and also above the blue line. So here we are trapped between two logical places of, of uh, support and resistance. FAZ doing the same thing but you know moving upwards however staying below the major moving averages which was my call. Watch for these things to be major overhead resistance. Anything up and above this probably gives you play back into this area here or even above. You'll want to be very cautious though until we see what this consolidation is going to do. Holding below as well the 20 day moving average oh uh, let me make sure yep 1527 is the 20 day 1523 closing price so you can see the 20 day did hold one more time that's another uh, place to potentially get yourself long and that is over the 20 day moving average just want to be cautious in case we get these tails like we have before but moves over that are not a bad place to get long the faz for those of you in canada and overseas You'll appreciate that I said Z, not Z. And it does give you opportunities to try and play, uh, make a trade. However, want to keep your stops kind of tight on that just in case it does turn back. Moving averages have been holding pretty well so far. Overall, straight sideways, straight chop. Stick with intraday trading those things. There you go, guys. Not much to talk about today. Quick video. Why? Because we're just moving sideways. Still lots of chop. This is consolidation, which means there is a break coming. Wait for the charts to tell you which way to go. Day trading this stuff is suicide right now, especially on the indices because there's so much chop. Uh, look to individual stocks to give you an idea of some better plays. Um, if you're looking for stocks to play, check out my newsletter. In my newsletter, I not only go over more of the indices, not only do I draw in more of these trend lines, but I do put in stocks and stock picks that I'm watching during the course of the week to give you ideas of things to at least look at when you can't play the indices. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll be back with you again tomorrow night. Bye.